So Mr. Jeff Latham playing bass for the Sashas for our Joni Mitchell tribute. And we were just asking some questions, you know, when you first heard Joni Mitchell, or if you have any tidbits of anything about Joni Mitchell you'd like to share. I probably know Joni Mitchell more from the people who hung out with her in the LA area during the time that she was popular, and they were popular as well. People like um, Jackson Brown, and Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and what have you, that I know about her, to be honest with uh -huh. you. Most of what I've heard, probably because I concentrated on it deliberately, was her jazz stuff that she did with uh, Pat Metheny and Jaco Pastorius. That'd be a little bit later, like what year? I don't know. Not sure? I don't know. But, but, um, anyway, I gravitate toward those guys in particular, and so the idea that they're going to work with Joni Mitchell, to me, elevates her into a, <laughs> a special category of singer right. and songwriter. You know, if they're interested in her stuff, so am I. Right. I like at least got to look into it. But I've never really had an opportunity to do that until now, and that's why when you, you come up with a Joni Mitchell tribute, you know, this is a special challenge to actually go and listen to her music when, like I haven't before. Right. Cool. Listening to it to learn it is a whole different thing from hearing it in the background, which is the way most of us hear music all the time anyway. Right. Yeah. Yes, she's a little bit challenging. Her songs are not of standard format. She has yeah. some unusual aspects. It has to do with the instruments that she used to write her songs. She writes on, what, what is the, dulcimer? dulcimer? She does, she does songs with uh -huh. dulcimer, piano. Interesting. She also has strange tunings of her guitar, and I find that she frequently has her guitar tuned like half a step low. So you'll see a piece of music that's in G sharp because you got to play G sharp in order to play G on the guitar that's doing the house. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lots of tricky stuff. And that gets, yeah, and that gets to be pretty interesting when you're trying to learn her music. Yeah. You know, you're going to play it in G or in G sharp and so on and so forth. But yeah. anyway, so the only time that I've ever sung or played one of her songs before this event was when um, Paul Whitner had a show at La Lina Gallery on down on uh, Morley Avenue in Nogales earlier this year. And she called her show Both Sides, or Both Sides Now, because she showed at the gallery in uh, Nogales, Arizona, mm -hmm. and at the museum across the line in Nogales, Sonora. Right. And at a certain point, she brought all her painting, I think there were 74 paintings across the line that she brought over to this side of the board, put in the gallery over here, along with, I think, 74 or so paintings that she already had there. I mean, we're talking wow. what, 148 paintings or something mm -hmm. like that. Woo. So a couple of guys, um, Ken Main mm -hmm. and Evan Hubbard. Ken Main and Evan Hubbard, formerly of Haywire, NLA. We got together to noodle around and play some tunes at this event, and I put together some chord sheets, which is why I already had both sides now in the C. And we went, we got up, and we played a bunch of music, and then it came time to play both sides now, and we started the chords and everything, and all of a sudden it became apparent that nobody could sing it. I was expecting one of these guys to know how to sing it, right? <laughs> and it seemed all of a sudden obvious that they didn't. So I sang it. Awesome. The only time in my life, I think, I don't know. Uh, I can't remember another time that I've ever sung that song. You're a hero. You saved the day. And, and you know, it was, it was you know, last minute. It, it's it's kind of it's kind of like the thing where the where the car falls on somebody and somebody jumps out and all of a sudden has a burst of strength. And uh -huh. the car right I was gonna say so you knew the song just from hearing it. You hadn't thought to memorize the words or anything, well, but you I just kind of knew it. I had the chord sheet. I okay. listened to it enough and you know and checked the chords to make sure that they were right. Yeah. So that much. I mean, awesome.
Okay, well, I guess is that about wraps it up about our Johnny Mitchell experiences with Jeff Latham? Well, now, you know, with all these songs that we're doing. Well, we new experiences. Whole, whole <laughs> Aspect right. of the whole thing, which is great. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy learning, enjoy learning new music. I don't do it nearly enough. It's but, good to be challenged now and then, I yeah, think. Indeed. Is in here what, how many songs are there? <laughs> 12 or so? At least 12. I think we've got more than that we're working on. As long as we mm -hmm. have fun with it. And we always have fun. Indeed. It's all about, you know, whoever's going to be doing the singing and the, you know, fronting these things is making sound good. Yep. Yeah.